Good evening, everyone. I actually didn't know that introduction was for me. <laughs> that I come up here and I do something different, and I'm a great performer. And thanks for that. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. So, something I wanted to say really quick before I start. It might be funny, it might not be funny, but it's something about fears. And something that happened to me like a year or two ago, which was that every time I've gone to the doctor's office as early as I can remember, and somebody has to draw blood from me with a needle, I'm always like, I'm, a, I'm afraid of needles. I always say that, I've always said that at the doctor's office. So I remember one time a couple of years ago, I went to a doctor's office that was drawing blood, and before they started I said, I'm afraid of needles. So the nurse who was drawing the blood was like, what happens when you have a needle? Do you faint? Do you scream? Do you squirm on the chair? And I was like, no. And she was like, so what happens? What happens to make you say that you're afraid? And I was like, well, I don't really like the way that it feels in my arm. It kind of hurts. And she was like, that's fear to you? That's what you consider fear? And I'm like, it sounded stupid when I said it out loud. So she then tells me, you're not afraid of needles. I've had people sit in the chair and faint. I've had people sit in the chair and we have to physically hold them down. Different things that I consider making them fearful. You don't have a fear. And I was thinking about it because nobody ever said that to me. This person was like nurse slash therapist apparently. And she said, repeat it with me. I'm not afraid of needles. And I was like, I'm not afraid of needles. And she was like, say it like you mean it, man. I'm not afraid of needles. And I said, I'm not afraid of needles. I'm not afraid of needles. And then she was like, I'm gonna take the needle, I'm gonna put it in your arm, I'm gonna draw the blood, I'm gonna put it in these vials, I'm gonna take it out, and that's how it's gonna go. So she did it, I watched her do it, and then it was done. And that was actually what had happened all the other times. But I just had a fear because sometimes when we don't face things, the fears grow. And then there's a, there's a saying that goes, the fears we don't face become our limits. So how I'm relating that to this is that this ukulele, I just started playing it not too long ago and I had it for a while. I didn't play it because I was afraid of trying a new instrument and failing at it. And when I tried it, I actually really liked it. The second thing is, I've always performed music and songs that um, other people have written. So this time I, I kind of mixed in a little bit of my own lyrics to a song that I know and have performed. I think I performed it here actually for karaoke. And that song is uh, Where Is The Love, which I'm gonna do first. People killing, people dying, children hurting, hear them crying. Can we practice what you preach? And would you turn the other cheek? Father, 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 help us send some guidance from above. People got me, got me questioning, where is the love? The love, the love, where is the love, the love, the love? What's wrong with the world, mama? People living like ain't got no mama. We spend too much time connecting to the drama. Sitting on Facebook, Instagram, worried about what's going on with their kids and their baby mama. But if we were all united as a human race, if we were fueled by love instead of hate, we wouldn't be watching society disintegrate. And collectively, all of us would elevate. But negativity is where we gravitate. I said negativity is where we gravitate. People killing, people dying, children hurting, hear them cry. Can you practice what you preach? Would you turn the other cheek? Father, 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 help us send some guidance from above. 
People got me, got me questioning Where is the love? We spend too much time on our cell phones Gadgets taking control while our minds roam Connected to the world, but disconnected in our own homes Thoughts being molded like a memory foam Every day we grind at a nine to five But we don't have any me time 